Hello friends and strangers, I am Heli and in this video I am taking you with me into Witchwood where we need to go talk to Buck about some crystal flowers. Flicking his ears, the young gardener puts his pruning shears down at your approach. Hello again, lovely day for a walk in the hedge maze. Granted you don't get lost. Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about a crystal flower, would you? Crystal flowers? Why, they're very, very rare. It is said they only grow in a cave at the highest peak of the mountain. According to legend, the truth of one's heart is refracted in the facets of each frosted petal. Why do you ask? No reason. I just thought one might make a nice gift for your brother's big day. Hey! You're right, that's a brilliant idea. What better gift from the court's gardener than a beautiful crystal flower? Oh, but the trek up the mountain is perilous. I don't know if I have what it takes. Nonsense, I was heading th up that way anyways. You just stay close behind. Really? You would help me? Well, all right. What are we waiting for then? Meet me out by the slopes and we'll get underway. Help? The buck? Ascend the mountain. Okay. That color is not the easiest one to read when the background is um, is light. Like when it's dark, it's Okay, but when it's light, uh, at least I have trouble discerning the letters from a light colored background. Let's see if we can find this, um, this place where we need to go. To, to meet Buck and ascend the mountain with him. Nope, not here. So there is at least, probably at least, one other place that will open up to us once we get far enough with the quest. Aha, uh -huh, so we need to go there. All right. It'll be interesting to see what exactly opens up up there in the north. We came a bit too far south. This way. And there's Buck. You see the Buck hiding behind a bush, anxiously watching something up ahead. 
What's the matter? Did you get cold feet already? Shh, they'll hear you. Look. Through the pine boughs, you can make out figures moving across the snow. They are covered in warm pelts and carry sharp looking spears. The royal trappers, they keep my brother's court supplied with furs, but they've been out here for so long they'll hunt anything that moves. It would be a shame if those antlers of yours ended up as someone's trophy. Wait here and let me deal with them. All right, be careful. Always. Now, where can we find these trappers? Ah, over there. And the witch's eye will tell us what to do. If you've got hair, fur or a pelt, you better hide your hide. Touch of cold. And how do we make it? Frostling snow? Bottled despair? And metamorphosis elixir? We need... Weird water? And for the metamorphosis elixir. Oh, dryad fruit and changeling roots. I seriously, seriously hate getting the dryad fruit. Don't want to burn any trees. We'll need to make another one of these as well because it said we need two of those snowflakes. But let's try one out first. Right, we only got one from from one of those creatures. So what was it we needed for these? More nails. So nails we can get from the village or market. And the uh, dryad heart. For that we need to go into the forest. And first we need to catch ourselves some more fireflies so we can craft the cinder box. Just a few. One more. And that's that. There's also a changeling. So we can get one changeling root. Right. Let's craft a cinder box and... Go light a dryad on fire. I really hate having to do this. This feels so cruel and so wrong. 
sorry. So sorry. Luckily, it has only made us do it a few times so far. Let's get a few of these resources while we're here. We are pretty low on reeds. I guess that's all the reeds we can get from this vicinity. Let's go to the fields. From there we can find uh, we can find more changelings there. We just need to find the the root veggie field. Where was it again? Well, I think there are a couple of those around here. I think there's at least one changeling in this field as well. There. Now we can craft this. And we just need the weird water. For the bottle despair. And nails, was it? For the snow trap thingies. I know we could craft some weird water ourselves, but in order to not have to use up the ingredients, I was thinking we could go to the manor. Uh, how do we get to the gates again? Ah, from down here. So, at the yard of the manor, there is this weird well, and if we just bring a jar with us, like we have, we can straight up draw weird water from the well. And now we can craft the bottle of despair. Yep, for the snow snare we need nails. And I think we can get those from the village. I seem to recall having found some when digging up the loose cobblestones. Let's try this. No, it's just a cobblestone. Huh. Well, there were also some just lying around at the market. I just can't remember where. Maybe near the blacksmith? Yes, there are a couple here. Let's run around a bit. See if we can find more. And really, it looks like the cobblestones just yield cobblestones. 
Maybe I'm misremembering where I got the nails from before. Maybe I did, did just find them randomly lying around. Though I'm certainly not finding any more than those two at the moment. Hmm. Well, two is all we need, really. It's just that I kind of wanted to have some stocked up. Oh well. We have the two we need for the moment. So let's craft the snow snap and go get us one more snowflake. There. Frostling snow. Now we can craft the touch of cold. A catalyst for reaching beyond oneself. I wonder. This is probably an AOE thing. It was so resource intensive to craft that I cannot believe we'd need to craft many more of them. Maybe if we just use it here? Yes. It affected all of them. You glance at the buck, hiding safely behind a tree at the far side of the camp. Making a raven call, you signal for him to join you. The buck picks his way through the frozen trappers. Are, are they going to be okay? Uh, they might catch a case of the sniffles. Nothing a nice warm bowl of soup won't fix. Come along now, we're still a ways away from the mountain peak. I think I know a way up. I'll meet you ahead. Come join me when you're ready. When I'm ready. Well, I guess I could look around a bit. See if, well, there's a chest. I'm sure they won't miss these. Frozen treat and fish. Anything else? I guess we're ready to head up there now. Doesn't seem to be anything else of interest here. Hello, new creatures. Mountain goat, a shaggier cousin of the familiar goat? Maybe. More spicy pepper? And why not? Mushrooms and twigs as well. Be careful. Before you stands a looming rock face. Not even the most determined climber could hope to scale it. I thought you said you knew a way up 
to the peak. Well, you see, this is the great geyser. When the air is cold enough, the water erupting from it freezes solid. I thought it might give us something to climb up. You look into the dry crater at the bottom of the sheer cliff. I don't see much erupting happening down there. Um, it's been dormant for a few seasons now. I kind of hoped we'd get lucky. I don't trust any luck that I don't make myself. You take a moment to ponder your situation and eye the small gazers nearby, frequently spewing, spewing steam up into the frosty air. I suppose these other water spouts all draw from the same underground source. I think you're right. They started popping up shortly after the Great Gazer fell silent. Then I wager, if we plug them all up, we'll be able to make the big one blow its top again. Plug them with what? You turn your attention to the bleating mountain goats digging for lichen nearby. No, 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 no. Those frosty beasts look to be about the right diameter. Maybe I can coax some of them into position. Really? Lure mountain goats to the gazers. Ugh, goat perch. The steam is very hot. Will it hurt them? I feel somewhat uncomfortable doing this. Well, there's a few wicker works. Shiny lure. Magic paste. One more shiny lure. Ah, we need more cobblestones. Well, we know where to get those. And then, if we need to make more of those goat perches, We'll need to also get some milk. But for now, let's just go get those cobblestones. So, to the portal and to the village we go. Though I guess there's a path that would lead straight there, but I don't know, maybe it's faster going through the portal? Let's 
dig up some cobblestones. Aha, uh -huh, so some of them do give you nails. My memory was not incorrect after all. It's just that it's a bit random. Now we just need to find more of those loose cobblestones. We did need to get quite a few. But luckily, there seem to be quite a few around here. And we can always go to the market for more. Some reeds. Because we are quite low on them. Let's get back to digging. I don't remember how many exactly it was that we needed, but it was quite a few, so... wonder if that's enough. Yes, and we even have a few extra. Right, let's go use this goat perch, see how it works and if we need more than one. So to the uh, to the left and then a little ways upward. Poor goats though. So do I just place it here and the goats will then come? No. Is it like a thing that catches the goats? looking for something to climb up. Huh. Ah, so it's a... Um, it's a lure. Okay. So we need to place it like a little ways ahead and then they will sort of congregate on it. Ah, that was too far. A little tedious, but let's stop every now and then to lure the goats forward. Aw, poor things. There's one. Ah, oh, we need 
to be quite precise with the placement. This another and the third. This way. With the plump bodies of braying goats clogging up the small gazers, the earth beneath your feet begins to grumble. The mountain goat's eyes go wide as the pressure builds beneath them. With no other outlet, the steam rushes towards the only opening left. With a deafening boom, the long dormant geyser erupts, sending a great spear of water high into the air. As the deluge reaches its apex, ice crystals begin to form in the mist, twinkling as they hang in the air. Bit by bit, they begin to build on each other, forming larger and larger crystals, until it forms a great column of ice, rising all the way up towards the mountain's peak. Ha! I can't believe it worked! Last one to the top is a spotted fawn. Let's go. You stand at the mountain's peak, buffeted by wind and snow. Now then, where is this crystal cave you spoke of? I... I'm not sure. I think it should be just up ahead. But in this blizzard I can hardly see my own nose. The buck jumps behind you pointing into the frigid fog. Wait, what was that? You squint into the galing winds, unable to see anything but white. Probably just another mountain goat. I wouldn't be so sure. When I was little, my brother told me stories of the Snowkin who lived up here. He said if I ever went up the mountain, the Snowkin would blow a great blizzard down on me. He said they'd turn me around and give me false directions until I got lost and froze solid. Sounds to me like these snowkin might be some kind of guardian spirits. And if they're aiming to keep people away from something, then surely they'll know where that something is. I've a notion to find our way as they do, but it'll take a considerable amount of their essence. That sounds dangerous. I'll just stay put then. I know better than to wander blind in a snowstorm. Okay. We need to find one of these snowkin and see how we can. What does it say up there? Uh, hearts? So do we need Snowkin hearts? From the... This kind of a background is exactly the sort where it's difficult to read. 
Snowkin, a fully grown, assembled snow being. And we need a melting pot. For that we need a cinder box, some spicy pepper and some red feathers. So it looks like we'll need three snowkin hearts. So we'll need three cinder boxes for which we'll need a lot of fireflies and also we'll need two red feathers per um, melting pot so we'll need a lot of snap traps well six in all assuming that one red bird only drops one feather but that's kind of the way it's been up to now at least Let's go find some red birds. There's one. They seem to be just flying around here. I wonder if it's the case that the traps will summon them. And can we use more than one? Yes! Okay, we can lay down more than one at one time. Well, that was quicker that way. Now we have six red feathers. Yes. So we just need three cinder boxes. And for that, we'll need quite a few fireflies. Let's go into the forest to catch them. But. We'll do that next time and uh, save here for now. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting and subscribing. All of those things really help this channel a lot. Please remember to be kind to yourself have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.